It's me you need to show. For more than 40 years, he was one of the most recognisable faces and voices in music. But at the age of 62, Robin Gibb, OBE, has died. Robin had been fighting liver and colon cancer. His battle was announced last year after several public appearances were cancelled due to ill health and pictures of him looking unwell hit the press. As one third of the Bee Gees, the group he formed with his brother Barry and twin Morris, Robin achieved massive success. Their record sales well exceeded 220 million and they're one of the best selling music acts of all time. We were very young at the time, about yeah. eight, nine, or ten. Yeah. And uh, the songs, are, I'll tell you the name of the song, we wrote them ourselves. Yes. They're called The Echo of Your Love, Time is Passing By, uh, ten, uh, 20 Miles to Blue Land. And 20 Miles to Blue Land, that's it. More than two and a half thousand artists have covered their songs and as part of the Bee Gees, Robin won nine Grammys, five American Music Awards and a Brit Award and was inducted into eight Halls of Fame. He will be forever remembered for the iconic soundtrack to Saturday Night Fever. The Bee Gees had achieved a certain amount of success by the late 70s with tracks like Jive Talking. But when they were asked to write the music for a disco movie starring John Travolta, Robin and his brothers went stellar. And the soundtrack broke records. Over 40 million copies were sold and it's one of the top five best-selling soundtrack albums of all time. Robin and his brothers went on to write and produce standout albums for the likes of Barbra Streisand, Dionne Warwick and Diana Ross. But it wasn't all about the music for Robin, as he threw himself into charity work. In 2009, he took part in the comic relief re-release of his song Islands in the Stream. And as recently as last autumn, Robin re-recorded the Bee Gees track Got to Get a Message to You with the soldiers for the poppy appeal. What we take in this country for granted is so much of the, the military and their, their sacrifices that they have made over the years, not just in Afghanistan, but you know, uh, way back into the last century. Before Christmas, he posted on his website this photo with the only remaining BG, his brother Barry, saying it was the best tonic ever to be with Barry again and making plans. And that tonic seemed to work. By March, Robin announced he was in remission from cancer and the world celebrated. But the happiness didn't last long. In April, Robin fell into a coma, suffering from pneumonia. His loved ones feared the worst. But in true Robin style, he beat the odds, astounding doctors when he miraculously awoke 12 days later, ready to keep fighting. But despite his iron will to survive, Robin passed away, leaving behind his wife, his three children, his brother Barry and a legacy of memorable music.